Hey, what's up, my crowns and tiaras? Welcome to Etoxic Tea Lounge. Everything in this video is allegedly. Let's talk. Disclaimer I do not condone in any form of bullying or violence on this platform. Anything in this video is for information purposes and entertainment purposes only. Okay. Now, my platform consists of celebrity drama, rumors, opinions, roasting, and tea. Okay. You might get some shade up in here. Okay. So please don't be too sensitive. So today in this segment, we are going to be talking about Corey's girlfriend, Maddie. Okay. I think she throw me some shade. Then we got some Smiley in the Zeus, and she brought up Natalie Nunn in here. We got some Lotto, okay? And we just got a few updates with some new songs that's out, videos dropping, and, you know, things of that nature. So please make sure to like this video, okay? And watch throughout the end, okay? So Maddie, this is Corey's latest girlfriend, okay? The one that claims that she doesn't want no parts in Corey and Carmen's mess, but always insists to just seems like she's throwing jabs and shots and thinking she's better okay in a better situation than carmen ever will be with um corey as if carmen haven't spent how much years with this man and have how many kids with him so we're gonna just get into some videos and let's just listen you know you know that me getting out the car open the door for you is so extra you can open the door and get out now i can open it for you and you get in Anywho, <laughs> do y'all think that this is staged or maybe she's just trying to prove that she has Corey on lock? Like if she's really changing something, is this giving a female that's trying to prove something to people? Let me know how y'all feel about that down in the comments below. Do you think she's being extra or do you think that she has the right to do this? Anywho, I do believe that you teach a man how to treat you. The reason why I say that is because different men come from different backgrounds, for one. But two, different men don't deal with different type of women. They don't make another woman less than the other, but different women require different shit. In his past, according to him, he's not used to having to do certain things that I require of him. And that's what I mean by, like, if I was raised a certain way, like, my daddy opens all my doors, my daddy carries all my bags... My daddy touches every bill. Like, that's the principles that I was raised on. I have a father in my life. I have my father my whole life. I'm a daddy's girl, like, as y'all can see. So, with that being said, I'm not finna date a man. My dad always said, if he can't treat you better than me, then it's a waste of time. And so, that's how I see it. Like, I'm like the girl that likes inside the sidewalk. I like, I like roses every single week. All things that CJ is required to do because that's a standard that I set. I like girl, I feel like a man, if he wanted to open doors or buy you flowers every week, he already know that's what men do. So if he decides not to do it and you have to teach him to do that for you, I feel like that's a problem. I feel like there's nothing wrong with, you know, voicing your concerns and let him know, like, listen, I don't like the fact that, you know, you don't open doors for me. These are things that I like. And there's nothing wrong with that. But you're saying you're teaching him to do these things as if he's not supposed to already know what to do. You want to see what I'm saying? I don't know. I feel like the reason why a lot of relationships fail is because people go into relationships assuming that this person that they're with Toxic is supposed to have them all figured out. How about we just communicate our wants, needs, and desires like adults, set your expectations, etc. from the go, from the get, so that you're not disappointed when this person doesn't show up. I'd rather know from the beginning that you're capable of, or incapable of doing what I ask of you than sitting around hoping that one day you just get it. So just make this a whole long story short. <laughs> a man will only do what you allow. If you allow bullshit you ladies he gonna bullshit now. you point blank period because they gonna try these little they gonna try that shit but you gotta know yourself you gotta have self-love you gotta have self-worth you gotta have standards that you set that you don't budge on for nothing for nothing and if it's violated even in the slightest bit guess what baby girl you get up you pack your shit and you leave you wanna know why because it's another a that will the thing is ma'am okay your situation is different you're dealing with Corey, okay? He had a well public known. She claims that she didn't really know about their relationship and stuff like that. She claimed like she was clueless and she ain't know nothing, okay? But whatever. They had a public relationship. You could have did your you could have did your homework. You could have looked at you could have just put his name in Google and see about him. I felt like that was an excuse, okay? Um, at the end of the day, this is how I feel about it. 
Okay, she thinks that she's so different and her relationship is, oh, because I'm a different female and this and this and this. If you really did your research on Corey and just put his name in Google, you will see what he's capable of. So, yeah, you should have did your research. But at the end of the day, even people, even with her knowing the things Corey did, she says, oh, that's his past. That's with somebody else. Like, as if she's so special. So we're going to see how this relationship unfolds. Okay, is it going to unravel? Or is this going to keep building together? Let me know how y'all feel about Corey and Maddie. Do you think that they're going to last? Or do you think that Maddie is going to be crying at the end? Okay, so now we got Smiley. Okay, so Smiley got some things to say about some workers, all right, at Zeus. Okay, some weird stuff. We got Natalie with some allegations of Smiley with the Coca-Cola, if you know what I'm talking about. Okay. But at the end of the day, let's get into some of these posts. Natalie wanted me to take bumps with her. I told her no. She said I was boring. Baby, don't play with me. And yes, I put that little powder over there. <laughs> um, Someone from Zeus wanted me to have sex with them to be on the Caribbean. Hmm. And I promised I, and promised I was going to be on it. Remember DJ Sky and guess what? I didn't. LJ came in my room several times and touched on my legs, said, relax, Smiley, you will be fine. Now, Smiley, I'm not going to let nothing bad happen to you. You're so beautiful. I'm over the fake stuff. I ain't putting nobody else on. My TV show is going to be about me and my son. The first week of being on Baddies, I saw what was happening with Lemmy and some of the cast members and the way he treated them and did things in the back of the houses in the Black Sprinter. We had House B. House B was always like in the hood, so Lemmy would just post up in the side of the Sprinter with who he'd be freaking on. Some security guards would try to come freak on us late night and cash app us to try to touch on us. I would be dropping videos and cash apps. This is crazy, y'all, if this is true. Now, she also put out her Zeus contract. I will re respect the house, hotels, blah, blah, blah. I will not leave the premises unless my talent producer gives me written permission. What? I will not post about filming, blah, 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 read the rest. I will not steal. I will be prompt and ready at before a call. I will not smoke in the house, tour bus, blah, 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 read the rest. Okay. Now, I guess this is a, you know, text message. And she said, I was never paid. In this text message, she's, she's asking about where her money at, okay? She says, you're going to send me my check? I'm not the one to be fooled with, okay? I'm going to show you. Yo, where my bread? Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> then right here, she said, they never sent me to the ER, okay? I have someone reach out, please. I'm going to go to the urgent care. Okay, I'll touch back soon. Thank you. Okay, and then she says someone will, someone will reach out soon. So she's asking to go to do, do this and do that. And the person's basically like, listen, we're going to get back to you. Just hold on tight. Like, what? Mm -mm. LJ, you going to jail for S, you know, harassment. Lee John Plummer, I've been quiet too long. Then she also says, all these securities done freaked some of us, or they wasn't going to make sure we was okay. Stated, they protect us. Who are they protecting y'all from? Y'all all grown females. Like, what are y'all talking about? And y'all know y'all don't do much on Zeus, so stop it. <laughs> um. Then she said, left his ID in my room after we freaked. So this is one of the security guards that she had, you know, some intimate things going on because she felt she had to, I guess. Ew. I don't know. That's just, ew. Is he y'all type? Mm -mm. Pay is trash. Not 12K for all of y'all. Y'all, what y'all do on baddies? Listen, if this is true, because we know Smiley be exaggerating and lying sometimes, but if she, she already shows some proof of certain, you know, actions on Zeus's end, okay, but... We shall see what else she releases and then we will talk about it because if this is how they are treating them and them girls over there smiling and laugh, ee -hee, lemon pepper, lemon pepper. Like what? If he if they over there doing y'all like that, y'all feel like y'all gotta do something strange for a little piece of change to be on a baddie thing to make y'all look crazy and just gain a little bit of clout, that is not it. 
that is not it. Okay, so we shall see if what Smiley is saying is true. If she, you know, pulls some more tea about the situation. And who else is going to come show their true colors and speak out on those allegations? Okay, so now we got my baby Lotto. Okay, so she went to Billboard and, you know, she was asked questions in the interview and we're going to get into it. But let's get into the pictures. Lotto looks so good. I don't care what y'all say. Look at the pictures. It's just so natural and authentic. And I love this hairstyle. Like, I love this hairstyle. Do y'all like the hairstyle or y'all think it's a little bit too much? Maybe video? Hmm. All right, so basically, Lotto said to Billboard, her next album is going to be called Sugar Honey Iced Tea. I love the music that I'm making right now. I'm not chasing achievements. I'm just doing me. This is the happiest I've been to the point where I even told the label to fall back. I'm in the studio. I don't want y'all sending me no beats, no songs, nothing. I, I'm doing what I want to do. I really haven't been this confident for a project yet. Um, Sugar, honey, iced tea on the way. Anybody ready for her album? I'm ready for her album, okay? I don't know about y'all, but I like her music. So, I mean, she doesn't you know, get the acknowledgement that I feel like she should get. Okay, if I was to do a battle, it would have to be with somebody I feel like I'm going to go tit for tat with. Lotto told Billboard for her new cover story. I really don't mean it as shade. Would she even want to do that? Because they asked about Ice Spice, like if she would do a battle with Ice Spice. She also stated, I feel like she's doing her in her lane. It's two different types of vibes, Lotto continued. I don't even think she gives me like, oh, she wants to engage in an actual rap beef. Everybody going to take their little jabs in the music and it's not even that serious to me. I feel like you should do that. Continue to. But as far as actual hold diss records to each other, I don't think she would even want to do that. I feel like I wouldn't even make sense, <laughs> to be honest. Listen, if you've been around, this is from back back and how things go. But nowadays, everything is sensitive. It's not like how it used to be. Back then, you would roast everybody in the family, them, the kids. They bring everybody up. And y'all could still stand their ten toes down and just leave it. You know what I'm saying? Nowadays, if you even mention somebody, anything, they ready to, you know, unalive you. So at the end of the day, I just felt like Ice Spice wouldn't have no type of battle, no type of anything with Lotto when it comes to lyrics. You understand what I'm saying? Lyrical? No. Ice Spice is not touching Lotto unless she has some help. Because we could clearly see that Ice Spice writes for herself. That's just point blank and period. Because what are we talking about, poopy doopy? But at the end of the day, let me know how y'all feel about it. Do you think that Lotto and Ice Spice will actually have a rap battle and just keep it for the hip-hop history? <laughs> update segment, y'all. All right, so these are the updates, okay? We're just going to give y'all a little bit of what songs are out right now. And one of them is Erica Banks on this Ely song, and she this is her verse. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, I have been liking Erica Banks lately with her latest drops. And this verse right here, she killed it. I don't care what you say, okay? If you heard this song, let me know down in the comments below. Do you like Erica's verse? Also, her, um, on, on his face, that song is really good, okay? So make sure y'all check it out and let me know how y'all feel about it. Now we got A Boogie with the hoodie. And we also got Mr. Joel Santana. Yep. Joel Santana, they got a, a video and song out, and I like it. I actually like the song, the beats, the flow, everything on here, the things that they're saying. Let me know how y'all feel about this if you listen to this song, okay? Let me know down in the comments below. All right, so the next one is G Herbo and Mellow Bucks, okay? She's asking if y'all want a video, which I think they're probably doing now. <laughs> so um and i actually like this too mellow bucks also her latest song i put my hands on my hands on my hands on my hands move uh move uh bleh. yeah biddy they ain't here killing it i ain't gonna lie to you i like this already the sound and everything so you know congratulations to mellow bucks she's another one that don't get that much recognition that i think she should okay so jt cinderella city her latest project aiming for number one debut on the Billboard 200 with updated 
285k units first week. That's crazy. It will mark her first number one album. But she said it wasn't even an album. She said it was a mixtape. So I felt like she should have just left it as an album. <laughs> but can mixtapes and uh, can mixtapes still give you that type of you know numbers and charts and stuff like that? Or does it is it a difference between an album and a mixtape? Like I don't know. Just let me know how y'all feel about it. Um. Oh yeah, and I also did listen to like I said I was gonna do. Um, I gave Cin- City Cinderella another chance, and it just still was a no. The only thing I really liked was D.O.D. because of the hook, okay? I like the hook. I like how the beat is, how you come in. It just it just feels like you want to just, you know, whine to it or something. Like you're in an Egyptian something. That's what it made you feel like. But then when she started rapping and saying things and stuff like that, it just, just didn't hit for me. Okay, her project is not it for me. But congratulations to JT. She's doing her thing. She's consistent, and she's pushing through. Like I said, everybody music air is different. Um, I just didn't like the flow and it just didn't really seem well put together when it comes to lyrical. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, some things she was vulnerable in and she was saying some things or whatever the case may be, but and she was throwing some shots here and there and stuff like that. But I just felt like we heard this story before. I felt like it's played out. All she talks about is her in jail. Like, are you going to talk about that in every song? And then she's talking about her little, um, uh, the scam stuff. Like, we already know all of this stuff. Like, can we get something different, ma'am? Because I felt like that whole project was basically saying the same thing, but just in different words. <laughs> and that's just me listening to the lyrics. I actually listen to what people say in their songs. So, and if it doesn't seem like, hmm. It's not, you know, and I like songs that's going to make me want to listen to them over and over again. That project doesn't give me over and over again. So that gives me like here and there, oh, I might just, you know, skim through or whatever and see if I hear a song that I really want to listen to or whatever. And which is D.O.D. and that's just a hook. <laughs> but um, like I said, in the Maddie situation, I feel like she's going to learn her lesson at the end of the day unless Corby magically, miraculously change for Maddie. Um, but we shall see. Um, because I feel like it's gonna bite her in the ass at the end of the day. The Smiley and the Zeus situation, like we've been hearing Zeus stories from females and stuff like that. So if that is true and they really moving like that, <laughs> all of those things about Natalie and everything else, I'm pretty sure it's true too. But at the end of the day, let me know how y'all feel about that. Um, if y'all have anything that y'all want me to talk about, hit up my Instagram on Etoxic Tea Lounge. And also, if you have anything anything that you want to say just put it in the comment section don't be scary just keep it cute anyway i love y'all and i'll see y'all in the next video until then to the loose bye bye shawty you tried it voice getting filled with entitlement